Hi, I'm Dr. Audrey Robinson, play therapist for the Mesquite ISD Family Support Center. If you've been watching my video series, I've been talking a lot about kids and tips for parenting. Today, I want to close out the series with a message of hope and the power of truly seeing our kids. When our kids feel accepted, when we accept who they are, at their core, flaws and all, there's such power in that connection. And Brene Brown describes connection as the energy between people when they feel truly seen, heard, and valued without judgment. And we want that for our kids. How they feel about themselves impacts their behavior. We want our, to help our kids to feel accepted, understood, and valued. And we can do that by remembering a few important things about kids. Children are not miniature adults. They are unique and worthy of respect. Kids don't have our years of experience or our advanced brain development. Parts of their brain are still developing. We have to temper our expectations as parents and know that kids each develop at their own pace. It's helpful to know what to expect for each different stage of development in each age so that we can know what's normal or what might be an emerging problem. I'll link a bunch of resources below that describe each age and stage of development thoroughly so you can know what to expect with your kiddos. Children are people. This is kind of a duh statement, an obvious one, but I've seen this at work in my own life. I gave birth to my daughter. I carried her in my body for months. So sometimes I see her as an extension of me. I think of her as mine, but really she's her own person with her own thoughts and feelings and behaviors. And I want that for her. I have to check myself and watch how I talk to her or how I treat her. I think about if my husband or my boss said to me or treated me the way that I treat her, sometimes I'd yell, cry and throw things too. I want her to develop respect for her body and her choices. And that starts with me and how I treat her. What we say to our kids becomes their inner voice. The way we treat our kids and talk to them plants seeds that grow inside them. What are we saying to our kids, especially when they first walk into the room? Go brush your hair. Those shoes don't match. I want my face to light up before I say, dry off before you step on the carpet. Author Toni Morrison says, let your face speak what's in your heart. We know what's in our heart. We know we love our kids. But kids, especially young kids, are so concrete. They may focus on what we say and what we do. We want to show them that we love them. And this brings me to my next point. Children are great observers, but not great interpreters. They can pick up on what's going on and emotions in their world, but they may not know why or how these things are happening. Children see the world through themselves. They filter everything through themselves. Kids can't take the perspective of others until age seven up to age 12, somewhere in that window. So when things happen in their world, kids may think it's their fault. So talk to and explain to your kids what's going on and the emotions in their lives. I wanna close with my favorite parenting quote of all time. What's most important may not be what you do, but what you do after what you did. Yes, we're all gonna say and do things we regret as parents. We're gonna make mistakes and mistakes are good and children are resilient. It's what we do after those mistakes that really counts. We want to reestablish the connection with our kids, talk through what happened. This is way better for them than having a perfect parent. And there's this idea of balance floating around out there, work-life balance, you know, personal life, work balance, family, personal balance. And the idea of balance is often a stagnant one. I kind of, in my head, imagine myself like juggling dirty dishes and laundry and books and, you know, my kids play things. And, and that idea is one of me standing still. But really, in life, it's about harmony. It's fluid. It's ever-changing. And we want to be able to keep moving forward as we're handling all the things in our life. If we think about riding a bike, you cannot balance on a bike while you're standing still. You have to keep moving forward. And we're going to fall down. And that's okay. Better than okay. It's what makes us stronger, what makes us better parents.
what makes our kids better, more resilient people. And when things get tough, and they will, now and again, I want you to remember why you got into this parenting gig. I know you're working hard and doing great with the cards you've been dealt.